David Wallims wanted to update his content reminder. He brought me a massive ring binder. But when I looked, all the contacts were from Grinder. <laughs> I need to join the gym again. It pains me to admit I accidentally put my bra on backwards and it fits. <laughs> First time I saw you, just hanging there. The checkout lady said, Do you want to buy one of these? <laughs> and I said, All right, go on then, yeah. David would write another book. <laughs> Alicia would smile at him. Amanda would be kind to him. Simon's teeth would be blinding him. <laughs> Hello. Hello, darling. Hello. Hello, what's your name? Um, my name is Robert. Um, how old are you, Robert? Um, I, I, I just turned 30 uh, 11 years ago. So. <laughs> Is this your job or do you have a normal job? Um, I teach tiny little primary school children music as well, so I do that, which is nice. OK, best of luck. <laughs> right, so, um, ba basically, I've, I've written a song specifically for, for you, which makes me nervous, and, and also I'm slightly nervous because I've got something called dyslexia, which, is, which was very good for music, because when I was young, I taught myself the piano, although it's not so good as I'm older. I recently tried to book tickets for Rihanna, and I booked tickets for Ryanair. Um, <laughs> <laughs> thank you. Oh, very good. <laughs> I've got something called Asperger's syndrome, which means I'm a genius. Um, <laughs> No, it's nice to be here. I've had a bit of a rough week. I've actually moved into a flat with, with my boyfriend. Yes, boyfriend, gay. <laughs> and, uh, and autistic, two ways I can't think straight. And, um, <laughs> and I... Thank you. And, um... That's a good one. That's a good one. So, I, I usually, when I do clubs, I swear a lot. So, I've got to be PC. I've done a song which is literally PC, because it's about computers. And uh, I have done it three times, and each time people have laughed, so if you don't, you're wrong. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. Thank you. George warned me, working in a computer shop. I work in a computer shop, make a computer bright and clean. So much crumbs and vomit, and don't ask what's on the screen. I do half the work, judge double the time. You wouldn't want a job like mine if you would find the things I'd find. When I'm cleaning Microsoft Windows. <laughs> David Wallims wanted to update his content reminder. He brought me a massive ring binder. But when I looked, all the contacts were from Grindr. Cleaning <laughs> 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 rugs up windows. Alicia Dixon's webcam was another case. She said the picture was awful, but actually it was just her face. <laughs> 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 Was too lovely, her face was too lovely. <laughs> there you go. Amanda Holden was the only one whose uh, Instagram was on the mark. She said her outfits have so much spark. I said, I'm just jealous I'll never dress like you, because <laughs> I don't shop in Primark. Um, <laughs> I'm OK with that. Cleaning Microsoft Windows. <laughs> Simon Cowell's Facebook was around the bend. He brought it to me to try to mend. It wasn't broken. He's just got no friends. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Cleaning mugs of windows. <laughs> Robert, I love you. Wow. I mean, everything you said was hilarious. You're just a beautiful soul. Comedy flows from you like water. I love that you had a go at us all. I think some people were more hurt than others. <laughs> <laughs> some was just entirely truthful. Um, <laughs> but uh, I just can't wait to see what you're going to do next. Wow. From start to finish, that was hilariously funny. You're a shining star. It's fantastic. You're very self-deprecating, and I think that you have funny bones, and your audition was fabulous. Thank you. Wow. Really good. Look, Robert, you know what? You're very unique, you're very quirky, very funny, very naughty. Robert. Which we like. Thank you. Thank you. David, yes or no? It's a big fight, yes! Wow. I'm saying yes. I'm saying yes. Robert White, 
you got four yeses. Congratulations. Lovely man. Hello, my love. Who are you? My name's Siobhan, Siobhan Phillips. Mm -hmm. I am 42. I know I don't look it. <laughs> and I'm from Wakefield. <laughs> Yorkshire, Yorkshire, Yorkshire. And Siobhan, what is the big dream? I've been a performer for a long time and I feel like I would love it if I had a venue where people have paid to come and see me. Do you know what I mean? I do know what you mean. That'd be great. OK, good luck. Come on, girl. So I don't, I don't know if you've noticed, but there's a piano forte behind me. And uh, I'm going to sit down. I'll get further away, but you'll still be able to see me. <laughs> what I've done, I've written a song, because a couple of years ago, I became a mum for the first time. I thought to myself, what I'll do, I'll wait till I'm 40, and I'm really old and tired, and then I'll have a baby. <laughs> So I wrote a song because they always say you should write songs about subjects with which you are familiar, but I couldn't think of a melody around cake. So <laughs> <laughs> I've put a little song together and uh, yeah, it, I, I hope you like it. You can join in, but you won't know it because I've written it. So had a baby. What did I do? I haven't slept since I look 102. I've piled on weight, they say, when is it you? I answer through gritted teeth, she's just turned two. I start <laughs> plastic dinosaurs every single day. I dream of killing Peppa Pig in a brutal way. And I would strangle <laughs> Mr. Tumble with his spotted back. And if it wasn't for Prosecco, I'd probably go mad. Yeah. Kids, 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 oh, what fun. I sometimes wish that I'd become a nun. Then she smiles at me, and I do it all again. But I think I'd skip the toddler years and push her out at ten. Push her out at ten, and then sleep again. <laughs> oh, I hate my life. <laughs> Going to the loo alone would be a special treat. Right? Yes. I love to read my Kindle when I'm lying on the beach. I need to join the gym again. It pains me to admit. Accidentally put my bra on backwards and it fits. <laughs> <laughs> if I hear the question why again, I think I might just scream. But at least she's far too young to discuss the Brexit deal. And I only want what's best for her to have a happy life. I'm keeping all my bits crossed, she'll be Eric Cowell's wife. Good evening. What's your name? I'm Mickey. Mickey? Yeah. Where are you from, darling? I'm from the beautiful city of Leeds. How old are you, Mickey? Uh, I'm 36. Do you have a day job or is this your full-time job? I am a part-time primary school teacher. Oh, lovely. <laughs> lovely. Are you enjoying your food? <laughs> yeah, you've got to eat, you know. The stage is yours, Mickey. Go for it. <laughs> Thank you very much. Cheers. This is called The Absolutely Amazing Song. Yes. About travelling round Europe. Oh. That rhymes. <laughs> I like him. I'm off to Paris in a Yaris. <laughs> this next song. <laughs> I know this is supposed to be a comedy routine, but I've, I've suffered loss recently. Oh, no. So, I just want to get this off my chest. I, um, Joe, you know I'll play the song, because I'd get a bit emotional talking about it. <clears throat> I can't believe I've lost you. I can't 
can't believe you've gone I need you to know that You did nothing wrong The first time I saw you Just hanging there The checkout lady said Do you want to buy one of these? <laughs> and I said All right, go on then, yeah You were my bag for luck <laughs> What? My bag for life. What? My bag for life. You only go to the we supermarket. You can either buy a cheap carrier bag or a bag for no, life, which I've is better you. quality and a bit more and expensive. Yes, I've paid the price. You cost almost ten pence and I only used you twice. <laughs> the other bags I use compared to you are slack. <laughs> I always feel that the handle strap is gonna... Has it happened to you a lot as well? <laughs> oh, back for life. Good evening. What's your name, sir? My name is John Courtney. Where are you from? I live in a village called Mosley, which is near Manchester. Oh, OK. Have you brought anyone with you? I've got my wife and two boys, I hear. Brilliant. How long have you played the piano? Uh, since I was about five, I guess. And is that how you make a living? Yeah. So is this the biggest venue you've performed in? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> the Palladium is, is like the holy grail to me. I used to watch the shows with my dad, and this is the home of variety. Ah. Oh. Overwhelming. It's amazing. Oh, it's a matter for you. Good luck, John. Thank you. This is bonkers. There was a man who had a dream That Simon Cowell and his team Would watch him play piano and try to slay them On the stage of the Palladium And in the time that one song took David would write another book <laughs> Alicia would smile at him Amanda would be kind to him Simon's teeth would be blinding him <laughs> If he was smiling But nothing now could ever spoil The dream he dreamed like Susan Boyle I like this already! Yes, John! Let's see if we're, we haven't been in it yet. The fact is he never thought he'd ever get to be In front of millions of people Doing his thing on TV 30 years of playing in piano bars and pubs Dodging glasses when they're thrown Being thrown out of clubs When your children ask daddy When you're coming home This game is not the same when you're just daddy on the phone So he sits at the piano And he tries to get prepared Thinking he'll write it in third person So he doesn't feel as scared To sing about himself to a bunch of strangers in the dark But then Britain has got talent And he wants to make his mark Paul Potts won the first year and said it was insane The second year George Sampson won singing in the rain Lost Voice Guy season 12 And last year Colin Thackeray So why not me? <laughs> yeah, why yeah, not you? Why not you? That's what he said His youngest boy One night in bed Dad, why not you? Go and show them what you do and even though you'll be a wreck, at least you'll meet Anton Dare. And he thinks on stage at this stage in his life, with an expensive mortgage and a pensive wife. <laughs> his youngest son Alfie says, "What's it all about? If he had any hair left, he'd pull it out." His teenage son said, mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> His dad taught him to play piano But he didn't live to see His son at the famous theatre Performing on TV If he didn't see it through Imagine how sad The look on the faces of both his lads Who always tell him You're the greatest showman dad The 
they'll see me on BGT. No more third person, just daddy. This is me. fault a bit, I don't know why. I just saw a man who kind of made all his dreams come true. It really was, yeah. <laughs> David. It was just so winning, wasn't it? Yeah. I mean, my goodness me, it made the whole audience, and I'm sure everyone watching at home, just fall in love with it. I love him. It had everything, and at the end, he had us moved to tears. This show is perfect for you, and now I want to see you go as far as you can in this competition. Wow. Well done. Uh, John, it was just a wonderful audition. You're somebody who's worked for years, needs a break. You'll get a huge reaction of this, I promise you. And we all want you to do well. So I would love to be the, the first to say yeah. yes. yes. You deserve it. You deserve it. Here's the other son. Here he comes. 